Hey, what's up? Why is Tesla building robots? What can these bots do? And can this humanoid machine be the invention that saves the world? Maybe. But maybe not. I dug into everything known about the Tesla bot to answer your questions and to explain why it matters. Everyone has heard of Tesla before. Tesla is already in so many vertical niches like cars, solar panels, insurance, robo taxis, artificial intelligence, and they have recently announced that they're going to compete with Amazon Web Services in the future with their Dojo supercomputer. But that's not what I'm going to talk about in this video. I really want to talk about what everyone's most interested in, and that is the Tesla robot called Optimus. Some people fear that 11 million US factory workers might be replaced by this humanoid robot, kind of like in a dark utopian science fiction story. And others believe that this is just a crazy marketing stunt. The reality is more in the middle of those two things. This Tesla bot has some really interesting implications for the future of America and maybe even the world. And we're going to talk about those things now. During Tesla's AI day, Tesla showcased this robot. It was a small step for Tesla, but it promised to be a massive leap for mankind. But was it really? There is a ton of hate for this Tesla bot online, mostly because there is a company called Boston Dynamics that sells a $75,000 robot that looks kind of like a dog and it's called Spot. This robot has a little grabber on the front and it can help with certain industrial tasks. Boston Dynamics has done really well at prototyping robots with really powerful actuators. And they also have great software. And overall, they are super impressive. Don't get me wrong. Meanwhile, Tesla just brought out their prototype robot that is really rudimentary and their newest vision can't even walk yet. So naturally everyone on Twitter is comparing Tesla to Boston Dynamics. So we want to do the same here and compare what is the actual difference and how can this technology potentially change the way we live. The major difference between Tesla and Boston Dynamics has to do with their fundamental philosophy and their end goal. Boston Dynamics is a 30 year old company that has been able to build robots that can do parkour and dance. Check out this video right here. And this is super impressive. These robots are an engineering masterpiece. As I already mentioned, Tesla's first prototype can barely walk. So how does Tesla plan to keep up with that? Boston Dynamics robots are pre-programmed and they only have about five of those dancing robots as prototypes and they're super expensive. I believe that these robots are about a million dollars each. And on top of that, they work within a given set of restraints and environments and are pre-programmed. This is where Tesla has a different design and philosophy. Tesla is not a car company that's trying to get into robotics, no. Instead, it's a factory company. And that is what you're buying when you buy Tesla stock. When Tesla is compared to car companies, people argue that Tesla is super expensive as a stock. But then when you take into account future potential of the company and their manufacturing capability and technology, other people argue that this company is pretty cheap. So what does all of this have to do with robots? Viewing Tesla as a factory can help us understand their robot philosophy and why they could potentially pull this off. Tesla has three core constraints when developing this robot. Number one, it needs to be cheap. They're targeting this to be cheaper than a car or so that most people can buy one. The second thing is that it needs to be mass produced with high reliability. They want to produce millions of robots per year. And the third constraint is that it needs to learn from its environment and learn useful things. Tesla has the experience, the technology and the supply chain to potentially build millions of these robots, yes. Because of their core constraints, Tesla didn't care about putting together some great dance or choreographed demonstration to a song that looks all good but is useless otherwise. They care about making cheap, highly scalable, reliable robots that can help humans with basic tasks based on very simple and basic training. As already mentioned, their cost target is around $20,000 per robot, but no official number has been released yet. Let's first look at why this matters to Tesla and society, and then look at if these bots can actually pull this off. Elon Musk believes that the decline in population growth is one of the largest dangers to civilization. He defines an economy to be this, productive entities times their productivity. Check out his own words. What is an economy? An economy is uh, sort of productive entities times their productivity, uh, capita times output, uh, productivity per capita. At the point at which there is not a limitation on capita, the, it's not clear what an economy even means at that point. It, an economy becomes quasi-infinite. So what does this mean? Productive entities times their productivity. And what do his words mean when he says that if we don't have a limitation on productive entities, that the economy 
can be quasi infinite. How does this help employers and employees that will be displaced by these machines? Elon is trying to create something that is going to stand in a factory and replace a minimum wage worker that would ordinarily cost between 30 and $50,000 per year, plus benefits and sick pay, and they only work eight hours per day. These jobs would be replaced by a robot that costs $20,000, doesn't have workers comp, liability, training, and time off, and it works 24 seven for less than the annual wage of one worker. For manufacturing jobs, this is significant. If you extrapolate these numbers, they're actually remarkable, and that's when I started realizing the real innovation that is here. It's not a dancing robot like Boston Dynamics, and it's actually a robot that is produced at scale and actually does useful things. Meet Kevin posted about the addressable market and said that if all factories jobs in the US could be replaced, it would replace a $500 billion labor market per year. With an average cost of around $20,000 per bot, this would require about 25 million bots, considering that the bots are just as efficient as humans. Kevin also says that this has stock implications as it would bring in a lot of gross profit and value to Tesla. But I'll save that analysis for another video. I have some issues with this analysis as many jobs will not be able to be replaced, but it is an interesting thought exercise to understand the vision of Elon and the company. Now, this would have a huge impact on any job that is replaceable, and I will address that in a minute. So you might be saying, but Mo, like the Tesla bot can barely walk. How will it do these factory jobs? That is a great point, and my answer is this. The robot has extremely limited functionality right now, and there have been many humanoid robots that try to achieve these things in the past with only limited success. I think that Tesla has the right approach, making these robots as cheap as possible, mass producing them with high reliability, and then focusing on what is most important with the robot, working with the hands and understanding the world around them so it can learn quicker. For basic factory jobs, the robot doesn't need to walk a lot. Because of this, I think that Tesla is spending the majority of their engineering talent on the arms and the hands of the robot. Because the reality is that you could park these robots at a factory station and it could just do a useful job without needing to know how to walk. Watch what I'm doing now. I'm picking up a box, I'm putting certain things into this box, I'm wrapping up the box, and then I'm putting it on a conveyor belt. If Tesla can master those tasks, it can work harder on walking and human interactions later so that we might purchase one of these robots for a household task down the road. But will this result in a lots of unemployment? The answer is yes and no at the same time. Yes, the factory jobs might be replaced and will require factory workers to find new jobs. As with any new technology, people fear that if we replace certain jobs with technology, that there will be massive unemployment. But that hasn't been the case historically. Historically. We can use the past century as a case study. Technology displaced a bunch of manual work such as switchboard operators, cashiers, data entry clerks, bank tellers, travel agents, and many more. But do we have a ton of unemployment because of these technological advances? No. In fact, unemployment tends to decline over time. Some economists even argue that technology and automation can help us with inflation as it will be easier and cheaper for companies to produce goods and services. So if we could bring in labor, such as cheap robots, we could actually help decrease inflation by making the cost of producing goods cheaper. Yes, the factory workers will need to be retrained, but there are also plenty of jobs that cannot be replaced by robots quite yet. So I don't expect job displacements to happen in a super short time frame. That brings us to the next question. What can the robot actually do? Currently, the Tesla team is working on the best framework to produce the robot in high quantity and for a cheap price. During the AI day, Tesla showed that the robot can pick up a watering can to water plants. It can carry boxes, sort through boxes and documents, and even work in some labor stations in their Tesla Fremont factory. It is not a lot, but nevertheless, it is impressive. So what technology is used in order for the robot to do these things and scale beyond what it's currently doing? The robot is operating on a 52 volt architecture with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery. This allows it to work all day, which is really incredible. The robot has 28 structural actuators and it has 11 degrees of freedom in the hands alone and it even has opposable thumbs. This allows it to do jobs that are currently ergonomically designed for humans. And this is the evolution of their prototyping right now. On the left, this is the concept for the robot. In the middle, this is the first robot that was demonstrated during AI day. 
And on the right is the robot that was demonstrated that can't really walk yet. The robot is looking at its environment and utilizes Tesla's AI to understand what is going on. And it maps out its surrounding to fulfill the tasks that it's meant to do. It doesn't need a pre-programmed path as most other robots do, but it actually uses the AI and path planning to map out what it will do next in real time. This is similar to what we do as humans. We don't plan to go to the fridge and pick out the next thing. We go to the fridge and we check out what's in there and then we pick out what we want and use it for our purpose. So overall, what are my thoughts? I wasn't planning to be blown away by Tesla's AI day presentation. No, their first video of how the robot operates shows a good use case, but the robot isn't quite mind blowing yet. However, seeing how the Tesla team is approaching the development of this robot is highly impressive. I think that the team is working on the most important things and that is great. It's working on price, scalability, reliability, and the usefulness of the robot. Having a robot that doesn't rely on pre-programmed tasks could be a game changer. Using artificial intelligence is a pivotal role in humanoid robotics, as now we can just task the robot to learn new tasks and then the robot will get better over time. On top of that, having a systems of millions of robots, the rate of learning increases exponentially, as each robot has the potential to learn from the mistakes from other robots as well. But there's one more thing that makes me really excited about this robot and about the technology Tesla is building. The robot could be a platform for apps apps, tasks, and subscription, and it could be used as a platform that's utilized by millions. Think of it as an app store for the robot. Tesla could utilize a subscription model that the robot uses for other people to use, and that brings them a recurring revenue stream. Software developers could train the robot to clean your dishes or take out the trash, cook for you, or all other things that you need to do. And all you need to do is just download the app or the application that the robot is trained on. Why is this important, you might ask? Look at Apple, the app store and services currently brings in 22% of revenue for Apple. And I could imagine that this robot platform could reach a similar scale or even larger for Tesla. So what are your thoughts? Is this just a crazy marketing stunt and a useless product? Or is this something that could actually change the way we live in the next 10 years? Let me know in the comments. I've covered another video that could change the way we live. Check it out right here. If you want to learn more about this and other crazy technologies, subscribe for more content and check out my other videos. And until next time, Peace out.